Hey guys, uh, David here. Welcome back to another video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, why I've chose my aerospace engineering degree and maybe why you should too over maybe any other engineering degree uh, if you have a couple specific interests like me. Um, but yeah, uh, before I get into that guys, I wanted to say make sure to subscribe or leave a like if you guys find the video helpful in any way. Um, but yeah, let's uh, jump straight into it. So guys, I wanted to talk about my first point of what like made me interested in like science and like space in general and like math. And that movie, like everything, all the credit goes to the movie Interstellar for me. Um, that movie was very inspiring. I remember seeing like so many different like planets, like you see all the different planets, like the black hole in the film, like a wormhole, like all these like conceptual things and like things that actually, some things that actually exist in the real world, in the real like universe and like I just found them so fascinating and like that's, that's what like initially like sparked my interest uh, for science although it was already there it just made me more interested in it yeah it's just it's like the movie is like so it's conceptual because there's a lot of like actual concepts that are integrated into the film from like physics and uh, I'm pretty sure math too but don't quote me on that one <laughs> but um, yeah the, the movie is like very sciencey and like what happens is the plot consists of and like a crew of several astronauts leaving Earth because it's inhabitable, and they they find themselves at a black hole which they knew to travel through to reach a couple exoplanets so that they could um, possibly find like in hopes that one of those exoplanets is a potential like habitable planet for future generations, right? The people that can't make it on Earth right now. But um, yeah, that movie is like full of science. Like I think at some point, like um, like towards the end of the film. Uh, the astronauts, what's remaining of the crew is like uh, near a black hole and so uh, what happens is when these astronauts are traveling right next to the black hole, gravity is so strong in that, um, and this is part of Einstein's general theory of relativity I think, um, I'm not exactly sure but it should work here, <laughs> it should make sense here. Um, the astronauts that are right next to the black hole age differently as compared to those people on Earth. Um, so what happens is that people on Earth age really fast, like years fly by for them, and um, I don't remember the exact like conversion rate, but uh, the, people, the astronauts near the black hole are like aging really slowly compared to them, and so like at the end of the film, uh, Matthew McConaughey, which is uh, Cooper in the film, uh, he's like the head pilot for the Endurance, I think is the name of their spaceship, but yeah, anyways, he is... Only his only age like a mm, several years as compared to his daughter, which he left back on the planet on Earth. Uh, she's aged like, or she's like near death, and she's really old. And Cooper's a lot younger than her, which is like weird to think about. And so this weird like, there's a lot of like, a lot of physics is like incorporated into the film. And like I don't know how exactly how to explain it. I'm not a physicist, <laughs> but um yeah, I just I love that stuff and I find it so interesting. Um, but yeah, I'll get into my next point now. Since we're talking about all these like conceptual things right now, uh, I figured I transition to the second uh, thing I, or like what also makes me interested in aerospace engineering, and it has to be um, my interest in math and physics. Um, I feel like those are kind of given for any engineering degree, at least somewhat. Um, but for me, at least, I've always like under, I've always liked um, learning about math and like the relationships between different things, uh, like different concepts going on within math. And like I feel like math is its own language. Like also, I remember when I first discovered or first learned that math and physics were related, I was like, oh wow, the first derivative is related to uh, this about physics, or the second derivative was related to this, like acceleration and velocity. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, just basically seeing the relationship between physics and uh, math just makes me even more interested in uh, engineering. And I feel like I feel like uh, engineering is like a nice blend of both. I have to take more classes to like fully get like a better understanding of the relationship between the two, but I know that they are intertwined. So yeah, that's my second reason. So now I wanted to talk about that a couple YouTubers that have inspired me uh, to like even start making this YouTube channel. Um, the first one is gonna be Abir, or Abby the Engineer. Um, she makes, I think she's a space systems engineer, but um, I originally found her channel about a year ago and I thought I enjoyed watching her content and she, she's, specifically got her degree in, I think she got a master's, I don't remember, but she specifically got her degree in um, astronautics, and that's exactly what I want to do because I, or aerospace branches off into astronautics and aeronautics, 
uh, astronautics is spacecraft related uh, technologies and aeronautics is like uh, aircraft related air technologies like things within the atmosphere of Earth. So I found her I found her videos like really interesting. She's like done some like thorough breakdowns of like how much like aerospace engineers make or like another one is like what classes you should take as an aerospace engineer. Like she goes over like a lot of things and like uh, I've appreciated like that type of content because you know it's helped me kind of gauge what I need to do for my degree which is the same degree, but like, it just helps, you know? And uh, same thing goes for another YouTuber, his name is Zach Starr. He has a lot of engineering, I think he's only like an electrical engineer, I'm not too sure. But um, he has a lot of videos explaining uh, engineering in general. I was, I was originally gonna do either physics or some engineering degree, and uh, I found aerospace engineering more interesting, so um, I looked at his videos where he's talking about like astronautics, aeronautics, and like in aerospace engineering in general, and I found those pretty helpful, and they kind of helped me determine what degree I was gonna pick. So yeah, um, if you want to check out his channel, I'll also link it down in the description, as well as with the beers. But yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, or found it helpful to some degree. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much my story and why I chose aerospace engineering. Um, it pretty much consists of those three main points. Uh, Interstellar, watching uh, Zach Star or Beard Engineer. There's also another YouTuber, his name's 3Blue1Brown. He's a math YouTuber. <laughs> it's some pretty interesting stuff. But that, I forgot to mention him. But, um, and uh, also just being interested in math and physics. So yeah, um, I think I'll leave the video here, guys. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, or even share it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.